Hi guys, welcome back to Conversion Conversations, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, a special unboxing. So let's go ahead and get this guy open right here. And in our Combiner Wars booster box, we have something super special. That's right, this is a Chinese New Year Golden Bumblebee. So it says Golden Bumblebee Electrum Warrior here. Um, I believe we'll go ahead and open this guy up. Uh, so three attack, eight health, uh, two defense. Um, when this has five or more damage counters on it, it gets tough two. And in alt mode, when you flip to alt mode, it gets bold two. Uh, and again, like lovely gold foil there. That's great. Uh, I actually wish they foiled both sides because I think the, the gold looks, looks better here than it does on the flat side. But yeah, we've got a Chinese bumblebee here. And the reason we've got it in a uh, Wave 2 booster box is because I am announcing a draft tournament I am helping to host at Hieroglyphic Games. That's uh, Hieroglyphic Games in Cheviot, Ohio, uh, May 11th from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we'll be hosting a Wave 2 uh, draft tournament. That is what all these boxes back here are for. And the reason we are showing off the uh, the gold bumblebee, this one, this one's mine. I'm keeping this one. I actually don't know why I stuck the sleeve and stuff in there, but I did. Let me go ahead and... Oh, yeah, that's nice. There we go. The reason I am showing off Golden Bumblebee is because Golden Bumblebee will be at that tournament. Uh, you know, on the right side and the left side are going to be what we are having for prizes. Um, but Golden Bumblebee is part of the first wave prize. Not all of the prize, but part of the prize. Um, in addition, I think second place and possibly third place, depending on how many people show up, will get uh, Omega Supremes. So if you wanted an Omega Supreme, get some of that goodness... Uh, that defensive goodness on Omega Supreme without paying Loot Crate any money, that is a possibility as well. Um, and the the shop will have extra Omega Supremes and Bumblebees besides what we're uh, giving away uh, as prizes. If uh, you're more of a money man than a skill man, you can you know come and buy your way into uh, glory. But yeah, we are announcing uh, one more time on May 11th, uh, 2019... At 2 p.m., we will be starting a six-pack draft. And I wanted to give a quick uh, breakdown of what happens at a draft if you haven't played. First off, this is very beginner-friendly. I think I've drafted all sorts of card games before. I've drafted uh, Magic the Gathering before. I think Transformers is a much easier game to draft. Uh, under normal draft rules by Hasbro, you draft four packs. We have found... Uh, for our particular tastes, after hosting a couple other smaller drafts, um, that for Wave 2 for Rise of the Combiners, um, we prefer a six-pack draft because that gives you the possibility of building up a combiner. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through what those steps are now. So let's say you decide to come to the draft tournament. You show up at, uh, you know, 1.30, 1.45. It's good to show up early. It's polite. You pay your $30 uh, to the store owner, and he hands you six packs. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. The rest of the packs will go, uh, you know, to the other participants. And uh, there are packs that will be set aside for prizes. So these boxes will stay sealed until the tournament, and then you'll grab uh, your six packs when you pay. What do you do when you get your six packs? First off, you don't open them. You hold on to them. Everyone sits down at the tables. Um, we get organized. You get your, your six packs. You've registered with the owner for the tournament uh, for a, a round robin style uh, tournament. Um, and then once we give the go ahead, you start opening your packs. And the first thing you do with your packs is open them like so. Take out 
your character card, take your battle cards and set them face down. And keep uh, one of these white cards just as, uh, as uh, a bit of helpful tooling that we'll see how we use later. So we're going to go ahead and do that with all of our packs. Put this face down. And we've got Torox. Lovely. Which I guess would be handy if part swap was in wave two. Because part swap uh, is draft legal still, just not constructed legal. Blue streak. All right. Put that face down. And again, these uh, character cards are double-sided. Skydive. So there's no real point in trying to hide what you're drafting character-wise from people. And we'll get into how the character draft works in just a moment. There we go. Last one. Headstrong. All right. So you've got a pile of six battle card packs over here. You've got your character cards. You've got your white card. The next step is to take all of your character cards and you're going to count your stars up. So right now we've got five on Headstrong, uh, eight on Blackwing, that's 13, five on Skydive, that is um, 18, uh, eight on Blue Streak, that is 26, five on Torox, so that is 31, and then 12 on Nova Star, so that is 43. So we take our white card, we take our pen supplied by the store, and we say we have 43 stars as our characters. Everyone is doing this at the same time. So among all the other participants, which I believe right now we have 12 signed up for sure. Um, and then a, like a handful of maybes. Um, so I expect, you know, hopefully we get 16 to 20 plus people showing up. Everyone does this at the same time. So everyone will have a star value on their card that says how many stars of characters they have total. The next step is the player with the most stars will discard character cards. So let's say uh, everyone else got a bunch of combiners. They're sitting at like closer to 30, 35 stars with their characters. Uh, I'm the highest with my 43. My decision is how many characters I want to drop. This is not, um, we're not taking turns to drop one character. You are going to drop all of your characters that you want to drop in one opportunity. So looking at my guys, I'm thinking, well, maybe running Blackwing would be cool, and maybe I want to try and build for Predaking. So I will keep these three guys, and I will drop Nova Star, Blue Streak, and Skydive. It's risky to go for a combiner and draft, but I'm thinking, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So these three cards will go into a community pile. Let's say that's the community pile. Uh, once I've dropped my cards, I see what my new star count is. Uh, 10, 23. 23 stars. So I went from 43 to 23 stars. Bam. The next highest person will go ahead and drop their stars out. And, and now that I've discarded my characters, I uh, am done with that step. So I will not discard again. The next person goes, let's say someone had 41 stars, they discard, we keep going down till everyone has discarded their characters, and there is a giant pile of characters uh, over here. So let's say we got a pile of characters over here. Then we will go back in turn and look at who has the uh, lowest star count now. So let's say someone dropped all their characters, they'd go first. Uh, and they get to look through this big pile of characters and pick out the ones they want. And let's say they want, oh, they're like, oh, I can do like maybe a grapple and a Nova Star deck. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever they're thinking. When you're drawing characters back from the pile, you are doing them one at a time. So we'll go around the table, everyone picking one character and marking their new star total. So let's say someone was zero stars and they pick grapple up. Okay, now they're at 12 stars. 
and then we go around until we get back to 12 stars and then they can pick another one. So I have to wait till I'm at 23 stars and let's pretend uh, that this skydive is really um, one of the Predacons. So I grab this Predacon and now I've got three Predacons and instead of 23 stars, I am now at 28 stars. Then whoever has 24 stars goes 25, 26, 27, 28, hey, 28 stars, it is my turn again. I look in the pile again for my next character. At this point, you are drafting back up to six characters. So let's say for whatever reason, I'm a terrible drafter and this is what I ended up with. Now I've got my six characters. At that point, once you have six characters, your star total doesn't matter anymore. Uh, once you have six characters, you are done drafting characters. And that, I think, is the part that was a little confusing for most people when we previously drafted. So I wanted to make a little video kind of showing that off. Uh, if you're deciding to attend, which I really hope you do, um, you know, you now you got a little primer on what to expect. Battle cards, uh, they work the same way that, like, standard drafts work previously, where you're going to open your pack and you're going to look at what you've got. You pick one card out, Power Punch, let's say you're building for bold, and you say, okay, I want Power Punch. You grab that one, you take these, and you're gonna pass them either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on uh, the round. And we'll give you instructions on, on which direction to pass them. And then uh, you'll get a pack from the person next to you, and you look through and you're like, okay, well, let's see. I'm building for orange. Maybe I want to grab uh, something. Uh, maybe I'll grab some bold. There we go, backup beam. And then you pass that one. And you keep going until you've got one card left. The person hands you that last card, and that's the one you get in your pile. So we're going to take turns opening packs and passing the cards until all six packs are open. And you should end up, uh, six times seven is 42. You should end up with 42 cards. So now you have six character cards, 42 battle cards. Uh, the next step would be to build your deck. And the limitations on deck building in a draft versus constructed format are going to be uh, 25 stars on the characters. So you're gonna have six characters. You're not gonna use all six because obviously you can't draft the Constructicons. Um, so somewhere you're gonna drop some characters till you get your 25 star character team or however many stars you want in your characters, 25 or less. Then you go into your battle cards. Instead of building a 40 card deck minimum, you are building a 25 card deck minimum. So out of those 42 cards, you have to drop um, uh, 17 of them. You drop 17 of your 42 cards and you get a 25 card deck that you wanna use. And again, there can be battle stars in there as long as your total deck star count isn't 25. Um, because we are drafting versus constructed and you might get screwed with some of the cards you end up with, we are allowing for a four count in your uh, battle deck, not a three count. So if you have four power-up punches, that is A-OK -okay versus three power-up punches. Um, I think that's all the rules. After that, we're gonna play rounds. Um, it'll be a round robin tournament and the best record, again, the prizes, uh, you know, get your gold bumblebee for first place, get Omega Supreme, get booster packs, you'll get booster packs. Um, get glory, uh, get, you know, whatever you're looking for. And again, uh, this is May 11th uh, at 2 p.m. at Hieroglyphic Games. Show up a little early and we can, you know, hang out and meet each other. Um, there's definitely people from the Cincinnati area that are coming in. I know some people from Dayton that are coming in. It sounds like some people from Columbus and Indianapolis are coming in. Uh, so I really, really hope you're going to be there. And I look forward to, you know, playing with you meeting you, beating you, and, uh, you know, growing the scene. I think that's it, and I will catch you all then. Have a great day, everyone.